Therefore, on average in my house there is electricity for 4 to 6 hours per day. And it's really hard to shoot and edit videos during this time, but... <laughs> electricity cut off! No! <laughs> Minus 15 degrees Celsius, middle of winter, somewhere in Ukraine. And I have to go home that has no heating and no electricity and no water and no internet. Welcome to reality. Hello, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll tell you how Ukrainians survive in this really difficult and cold winter during the war. My name is Igor and on my channel you will see and hear only truths about Ukraine and about war at all. And if you watch most of my videos, you will definitely hear facts that will never be shown in the news, because it's my own experience. So let's start and today I'll tell you what the situation is with electricity in Ukraine. And to be frank, it's not very good. Everything is terrible. Of course, now I have an electricity in my house, but it's only for four or six hours per day. It's not enough. Ukraine is unlucky to have a terrorist country neighbor. The war has been going on for almost a year and during this time Russia has shelled a lot of different uh, type of houses. For example, hospitals, private houses, even maternity hospitals, schools and residential areas. In my opinion, it's genocide. Do you understand that army of this cruel country fighting with civilian population? It's... they are bombing us. And I thought it couldn't get worse, but it could. As winter became to approach, Ukraine became a victim of Russia's attack on critical infrastructure. They started bombing power plants in winter! In my opinion, these were purposeful actions to make people sit without heating, electricity, water and internet. And you know that this action were for us to give up and give our lands for someone for no reason. But I confidently can say that Ukrainians are freedom-loving people and they wouldn't give up. Together with your support we will get through this difficult time and everything will be fine. And I am very grateful to everyone who helped us with some donate. I wish you all the best. Until this day, in Ukraine were periods without electricity for 10, 20, 30 hours. Some people waited for even 2 or 3 days for power supply. It depends on city, hood and, of course, your luck. In my opinion, we live in a matrix when old men like Putin decide the fate of entire countries. This is a very horrible, but this is a world we live in. So what we have now? Ukraine's energy infrastructure now in a very poor condition, so plant and emergency power outages are used throughout the country. Each city has its own power outage schedule. To be frank, sometimes electricity can be turned off more often than on the schedule, because accidents or Russia's shelling occur. Therefore, on average in my house there is electricity for 4 to 6 hours per day. And it's really hard to shoot and edit videos during this time, but <laughs> electricity cut off, no! <laughs> now electricity cut off and this is how shadow looks like. You can see it's Monday, Monday, Tuesday and etc. It means energy on, it means maybe, it means non-energy. But <laughs> it's lying, it's, it's not true. And I want to eat and I have something in my fridge, but I haven't electricity for my microwave and my candles are so tiny. Ukraine, without my phone flash, it looks like horror film, Conjuring 4. These candles are not enough. You can't see anything because because I haven't any candles. <laughs> of course, Ukrainians get used to this life with electricity problems, but sometimes emotions can be contained. It's genocide! It's genocide! I have a lot of emotions. <sighs> Russia, stop the war! And don't touch my electricity plants! 
friend from England recently asked me what I do when there is no electricity. The answer is very simple, since it's boring at home and I have nothing to do, I go for a walk on my beautiful view. Because in my opinion, I don't need to whine, but I need to thank God that I am alive at such time. And I thank my army to protect us and everyone should be strong and go forward. It's difficult, but we will see it without electricity and save Ukrainian independence. And I thank the people from all over the world who helps us in any way. We will always remember this. Thank you. You can hear generators now, but my house hasn't any electricity. No. I was walking down the street and now you can see no electricity at all. Maybe it's a little but you ever can see. How dark. I'm not surprised because I'm used to it, but it might be interesting for my viewers. Now I'm coming back home and I'm really happy because I have because I have an electricity. Yeah. If we talk about ordinary everyday life, this is easy to deal with, compared to the fact that surgeons operate on a child while the electricity is turned off. Вот так мы сегодня оперируем на сердце. Выключился свет. Хирурги оперируют своих налобных. Операция двухклапанного протезирования с лампочкой на аккумуляторе. Все стабильно? I came back after six hours. That's it. And I want to say my last words that it's hard, it's really hard to shoot and edit video during this time, during time of electricity cut off and it's unreal. But I genuinely want to tell people what are happening around so people understand what kind of world we live in. Please put a like and consider a subscribe to my channel and hitting the bell icon. Because you know, for me it's real motivation to do more videos and that's it. Thank you for watching, have a great time. Thank you.